Did you know that quantum actually refers to something that we're interacting with every moment of every day throughout our whole lives? Every time you breathe, every time you blink, every time you step on something, you're interacting with the quantum field. And I don't really mean in some abstract way like it's all quantum, man. I mean that the way our consciousness works is quantum in itself. And that means that every single cell in our body is interacting with what we call quantum. Further, I believe that this word has purposefully been overused and obfuscated so that the hidden nature of our reality remains hidden. If you look at things like electromagnetic wave theory or books by men like Tom Bearden, you quickly realize that if you look at the electromagnetic spectrum and understand there are two types of waves in all wave mechanics, the up and down waves that go across the top of the ocean or longitudinal waves which move in packets, often referred to as sound or P waves and earthquakes and seismology, you begin to understand that the electromagnetic spectrum has to have the same thing. And then since everything in this universe exists within the electromagnetic spectrum, these waves actually begin to answer a lot of the questions of what is quantum, how do we interact with it, and what's so special about it. Because as you explore this with spiritual topics, you begin to understand that the ancients, the different spiritual teachers over the decades, years, and centuries, millennia, have been pointing to this aspect of the electromagnetic spectrum. What makes these waves so difficult to understand with modern science is that we don't have a great way to capture these waves or to understand what they're containing information-wise. However, we do have a good understanding that these waves are actually the driving force of the universe. Because while we may be living like a wave moving across the ocean, once that wave collapses, it returns into the longitudinal aspect and gets spread across the entire universe. In this way, we can begin to explain what ghosts are, where our relatives go when they pass away, what aliens are, what ancient civilizations were seeing when they were interacting with these different gods and godheads, and a lot of the mystical experiences human beings have like telepathy. I'm putting out a module next Monday at 6 p.m. where I go over this and dive into what this actually means for you spiritually and physically. If you'd like to learn more and are interested, head over to my website where you can sign up for the course. Thanks.